Tommy, the home comforts are now gone and we're on our travels again for two games this week, first of which Altrincham tomorrow night. It's a long way to go, but, you know, we, we can do it, can't we? Yeah, I mean, the, the mood in the camp is very good. Obviously, we're, we've had a good week in terms of re, our points return. Um, and the winner game at the end, like we did on Saturday, just yeah, gives everybody a bit of a fillip. So, yeah, we're, like you said, <clears throat> first of two road trips again this week. So, um, we just got to be focused on the, on the Altrincham game. Well, seven points from a possible nine in the last week. That's per- brilliant, isn't it? Not quite perfect, but it's, it's, it's unbeaten and it's exactly what you want. Yeah, I mean, the, I think the lads have found a bit of a groove. I, I don't think we were best against South End on Tuesday night, but we, we managed to, to take something from the game, which is always important if, you, if you're not quite at it. Um, but I thought Saturday, having a look back and um, look at the stats of the game, um, every, every opportunity we gave up, it was how we're doing. You know, we didn't we didn't allow them to dominate it for any period of the game. I didn't feel we manipulated the ball very very well, um, and I think we showed patience as much as I was getting a little bit titchy at the end. I think we showed real patience on the pitch, and the, the players have got to be given some real credit for that because it's it's easy. How many people have you ever heard say, "Oh, it's really difficult against ten men"? Well, it shouldn't be because you you've got an extra man. So I was really pleased. Right at the end of the game, we, we kept the ball for a very long time and ended with a, with a, a real good chance for Jack. Uh, had that gone in, I believe we'd passed the ball about 60, 70 times before, before it got into the box. But we don't pass it for no reason, we, we pass it to go forward and, that, and that's what the aim was and will remain. Well, that is something that you know, we've seen in the last few weeks, those goals that we saw the clips for against Borenwood and, and Southend and, and I think from kickoff as well, we saw it on Saturday, we had a possession for almost two and a half minutes almost so you know is that something that you're trying to get in into the lads that just to be a bit more patient maybe well the lads say that themselves but the way we play the game we need to have the ball you know we're not we're not a team or certain teams in the division that don't really want the ball on the pitch they want it off the pitch and they want to restart that's fair enough that's the way they play um but altering one of them says they're, they're a good footballing team they're off the back of three really good results themselves so we're expecting a tough a tough encounter up there um but we'll be as well prepared as we can be. Nobody likes travelling four and a half, five hours and playing football, but the lads will be well rested after the trip. We'll have a stretch on the way up there and um, we're looking forward to the game. We well, alluded to it earlier, obviously a last minute equaliser is something that boosts confidence and, and it was scored by Kwame Thomas to get his first goal and Kean said it in his interview after the game. The lads are delighted for him, so that's only going to boost confidence as well, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, listen, we knew what we were getting when we brought Kwame into the building. You know, he's a, he's a man, he's a physical specimen of a bloke. Um, and if you deliver the right balls to him, he, he will do what he did on Saturday. So he's been patient because he's had to wait, wait a little bit longer than he probably thought. Because he, the reason he didn't start the season really was he, he hadn't done a full pre-season and he'd had a little niggle, a little, little, little injury. So we just had to wrap up cotton wool a little bit um, and we continue to do that, to be fair. So we're trying to, I hate using the word ro- rotate, but we're trying to get all the, the forward thinking players that we have in and around the you know, on the pitch at some stage because that's what we, we want to we do. We want to score goals. Just don't want to concede the amount that we have. Uh, this is the first time we've had the chance to speak about Joe Haig. Obviously, a young lad from Chelsea Academy mm-hmm. coming in and he can only add to the squad as well, can't Well, he's another one. He's, he's got excellent ability on the ball. He's, he's a forward-thinking player. He's creative. He's a goal scorer as well, to be fair to the lad. He's, his record is quite scary uh, during his period at Chelsea. And he's, he's played international football all the way through his, his school. Um, so from that, that point of view, yeah, I'm excited to see how he really is, what he's shown me on the training ground to getting on the pitch. And he'll be, he'll be involved with the game in the games this week. So it's in his court now. He's, he's signed on initially on a short-term deal, but a bit like Ollie Scott, the opportunity will, will come for him if he, if he delivers.